Looking back at this now, it feels like a blip. This was near the beginning of the pandemic and the start of so much change. My friend Ray had just moved to LA and I'm so grateful that we got to live together during this time because we were all going through it and we were staying at home a lot of the time. Personally, I was in a place where I was just not clear on what I wanted to do and yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. I think I put this silent pressure on myself to figure out how I wanted to show up online while also feeling like this is so dumb. <laughs> there are bigger issues in the world to digest, and this is still true. Here I am talking about my little life lessons while the world is on fire, and I'm not sure what the balance is, but know this is still on my mind, and there are links below that you can click through if you haven't already. Come on, let's go. <laughs> This was a time when I had so many questions about the world and my own personal value. And luckily I didn't have to go through that alone. <laughs> I'm also very lucky that although I wasn't posting here, I was able to work with brands in ways that allowed me to use my creativity and experience to explore new opportunities. Like, like yeah, this, and like that? I love that. Bye. This eventually led Ray and I to start our own little creative marketing agency. This is what it's <laughs> like to work at Studio now. Right. Which probably sounds crazy. In the moment, it for sure felt like a leap. While also being right and made total sense. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. First client. And that's part of the journey, right? Discovery. Discovery of yourself and discovery of the world around you and noticing the ways that they feed each other. When it was time to move out of this place, we ended up moving close by to each other because we wanted to continue to work really closely on our business and- Right here. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do so many fun little projects as this small two woman show and learn so much about ourselves in the process. I'm so proud of us because even though we eventually decided a few years later that this wasn't what we wanted anymore, we had always stayed true to our intentions and trusted our own paths. And I don't think I could have done it with anyone else. And that's a part of life, you know, sometimes you're going to make choices that to others may not make sense, but regardless of what others' opinions are, ultimately, I've always been someone that has trusted my gut and it hasn't really let me down. There she goes. It's good to question things and I'm not saying it's easy. Discomfort and uneasiness are not typically things we want to feel, but they're also not bad feelings. I know it may not seem like it because of the way that I try to stay open and share my experiences on the internet, but I am great at avoiding feelings. Call it a coping mechanism, but I love my alone time. It takes time to work through things. Rebuilding takes time. So if you're in a place where 
you can take the time, take the time. When you're going through a lot of change, there's an opportunity to notice the difference between the rules and the boundaries you create for yourself and others. Notice where your energy is going and then choose wisely. At some point I heard someone say, boundaries create space to exist within and rules confine you to that space. And this can apply to so many different things, but I don't think we realize how much we let our thoughts confine us to a space. And especially if you're in survival mode and just running on default, it takes time to recognize and then change those thoughts. So at some point when I was able to acknowledge these rules that I had kind of put on my creativity, for example, then let go of that pressure I was putting on myself, I noticed my desire to create come back. I could really feel my confidence rebuilding and I don't know if turning 40 has also had something to do with no longer fearing judgment or change in the same way, but when my mom passed it was another reminder that life is short so much of what happens in our lives is out of our control no matter how much we try and plan so why hold back so here i am making my little videos and enjoying it for what it is i am so grateful for all of you who have followed my channel over the years and have allowed me to take this time for myself. I didn't know that when I titled my last vlog, Taking Five, that that would mean taking close to five years, but I'm so happy to be here catching up with you and I'm here now.